Hi everyone. Welcome to CAD Mania. This is the second video of internal combustion engine components. Today we will discuss about the some other parts of internal combustion engine. In the first video we have learned about the following parts. Cylinder block, cylinder head, crankcase, piston, and piston rings. If you had not watched the first video, please watch it, link is given in the description of video. So let's start the video. Connecting rod, here you can see the image of connecting rod. There are two ends of connecting rod one is known as big end and other as small end. Big end is connected to the crankshafts and the small end is connected to the piston by use of piston pin. It transmits the reciprocatory motion of piston to rotary crank. Connecting rod is made up of low carbon steel 30 C8 material. The manufacturing method that is used to mate is forging followed by heat treatment. Now we will learn about the crankshaft. It receives the thrust supplied by piston to connecting rod. The main function of crankshaft is to transform reciprocating motion into a rotary motion. The shape and size of crankshaft depends on the number and arrangement of cylinders. The crankshaft is mounted in bearing so that it can rotate freely. It is made up by the material of 37C15 alloy steel by using casting process. Now we will learn about the flywheel. Here you can see the image of flywheel. It is a rotating mass used as an energy storing device. The main function of flywheel is to rotate the shaft during preparatory stroke. Flywheel also makes the rotation of crankshaft more uniform. Cast iron is used to make the flywheel. Manufacturing method used to make it is casting. Now we will learn about the spark plug. The main function of a spark plug is to conduct the high potential from the ignition system into the combustion chamber. It provided the proper gap across which spark is produced by applying high voltage, to ignite the mixture in the ignition chamber. Spark plug is used in petrol engine. Gap of spark plug lies between 0.6 mm to 1.8 mm. Here our tenth part of internal combustion engine is carburetor. The function of a carburetor is to atomize and meter the liquid fuel and mix it with the air as it enters the induction system of the engine. It maintains the fuel-air proportion under all conditions of operation appropriate to the conditions. Now we will learn about the valve. It is used to allow the flow into and out of the cylinder at proper time in the cycle. Valve are made up of forged steel. In two-stroke engine ports is used instead of valve. Remaining parts we will discuss in our third video. Subscribe the channel to watch more videos like this. Comment on the video to give suggestions so that upcoming video can be upgraded. Thanks for watching.